This video lesson is the first in the Business GIS for Entrepreneurship series, and we're going to start with the process of environmental scanning and opportunity analysis, two of the basic functions in trying to plan for a new business opportunity or construct a business plan. One of the things you have to do in that process is convince your potential supporters and lenders that uh, you, in fact, have a sense of the market and that you, how you can be successful in it. So we're going to go through the process of how you might use Business GIS uh, in creating that opportunity analysis of your business plan. And we're going to start on the site of an economic development agency that offers mapping services for the area that it serves. Uh, and we're going to look through the counties, in this case of Western Kentucky, for pockets of opportunity and the distribution of various demographic variables that are relative to our product category. We are working in the context of a hypothetical fitness center that is interested in finding a site in this area of the state and now we're looking for the best places that, in which that might be situated. So the first thing we need to do is get some sense of the demographic characteristics of the region and where we might be able to concentrate our efforts and be successful. And that's the purpose of this, of this exercise. So let's take a look at this uh, the online map for just a second. Uh, and notice how it works. Uh, we are now displaying population characteristics by county in this area. Uh, the ones in darker green are the more populous counties. The one in lighter green less populous. We can also choose to break that down and move in and focus a little bit more by block group uh, if we choose to do that. So this is the way the uh, distribution ranges of the work are done. So we'll concentrate first on the most populous counties uh, and we'll see that they are located in this end of the state in some north, uh, middle and upper northeast section of this, uh, this service area. We're also interested in income. So to get that information we simply turn off the population numbers turn on the median income numbers. Uh, the ones in darker green are the ones with higher levels of median household income in 2009. The ones in lighter green have lower levels of income. And once again, we can uh, drill down uh, and focus more precisely on areas of the state uh, where the uh, income is distributed a little bit differently. So for example, in the Hopkinsville area, we're interested in that. This gives us some idea in Christian County uh, about how block groups within Christian County. There are a variety of other variables that are relevant to different sorts of businesses. Uh, we're going to look a little bit at uh, educational attainment uh, because uh, on balance people with higher levels of education are more aware of the benefits of remaining healthy uh, and are willing to spend a little bit more to do that. So uh, in, in this one the, the darker uh, turquoise colors are the areas that have higher levels of educational attainment. This as measured by the percentage of the population with some college degree, associate's, bachelor's, or graduate degree, uh, and the ones in lighter green have lower levels. And once again, those within the counties uh, are distributed a little bit differently. We'll look at another county this time, this time the northeast state of Franklin County, the northwestern of Franklin County, and we can see that in the northwestern end of the state and the ones in the eastern, uh, there are pockets of the population with slightly higher levels of, of education. We're also interested in retail purchases because we are, in fact, going to be selling a retail service. Uh, and so, the, in this case, the, the, the darker uh, colors represent higher levels of retail sales, lighter colors, lighter levels. Uh, and we can also drill down in that area by, uh, by county as well. Uh, and we can see that uh, the, the, the patterns of purchasing tend to follow pretty closely to those of income. So now we have some idea of where we might want to concentrate. Uh, and based on the, the factors that we've been looking at, it looks like that the McCracken County area uh, might well be uh, a nice opportunity based on these sets of uh, numbers for a place where we might want to concentrate that store. Um, however, we need to get more precise data than is available here. So what we're going to do is move to another program, a desktop program, and use this to add some data on specifically of health club and social club sorts of uh, purchases by households uh, in that uh, in that area. So we're focusing now on McCracken County uh, and note that we have here fee club bookings uh, by block group uh, and as you can see this is the the layer that we're working with over here. Let me turn that on and off so that you can see it real quickly. Fee club bookings by block group and it looks like in this McCracken area that there are relatively few areas that have a very high level of purchases in this category. 
and that therefore the market might not be as attractive as you would would, would like it to be. Uh, on the other hand, uh, there are other factors that, that, that might lead us to, to consider it again. Uh, this is overall purchases. So if we were able to find an area, for example, that had higher purchases uh, of uh, health club fees uh, by household, uh, then that might create an opportunity for us as well. Uh, so we might be working with areas that are slightly less in population but have a willingness to, to, to pay a higher portion of their annual income for health club fees. Uh, and that is, in fact, what we find here, that in McCracken County, uh, there are, uh, in, in, in the surrounding area, there are pockets of households with higher levels of uh, per capita expenditures and per household expenditures in this category. So that leads us to believe that there might well be uh, some opportunities here that we would want to take advantage of. We also have to, to develop this further to find out a little bit more about the competitive situation. To do that, we add business listings uh, to, the, to the map. Uh, and we're going to look for businesses that might be competitors. So we're going to select by type of business. Uh, health clubs and studios. Uh, these are the, this is the category in which our uh, enterprise is classified. And so what we'll do is we'll click OK here, uh, and then um, those will be loaded into the system. And what we're going to do is classify those uh, by size. So in this map, the health clubs in the region are classified by their levels of annual sales. Uh, now let's zoom in on that a little bit more precisely so we get some sense of the uh, the distribution of those around the market areas uh, and the major highways through the area. Okay, so now we have a sense that here we are in McCracken County. We focused on this county out of several in the region as one that's quite attractive uh, for this organization. We've moved from general demographic characteristics to specific sales in the uh, in the industry that, 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 we're, that we're competing in and that we want represented. And now we have some sense of where our competitors are in that region uh, and what their size are. Uh, the size of each competitor are in terms of their annual sales. So now we're ready to move to the more specific tasks of identifying specific sites and looking at trade areas and trade area, trade area analysis around those sites. Uh, and that is the topic of the next video lesson in this series.